All right, this is our read teaching for second grade, topic 12. We're gonna be re reviewing all the measuring we've been doing. There are 12 inches in a foot. There are three feet in a yard. You can use lengths of objects you know to estimate lengths of other objects. So the tines on the fork is about an inch. A piece of paper is about a foot tall. About half a foot, um, half a door is about a yard, okay? So it says, estimate the lengths of two objects in feet. Name each object and write your estimate. So I'm gonna say my object is the window. And my estimate's about six feet. And then another object will be the sink. I think our sink is about two feet across, okay? So we're just writing objects and we're just estimating different things. So you can choose different ones around your house. Okay, you can measure the length of an object to the nearest inch. There's always a halfway mark. Halfway in between, hangs down normally a little bit longer than the other ones. And what you do is the string is longer than the halfway mark between the one and the two. So use the greater number. The string is about two inches. Okay, so if it's past the halfway mark, we go to the next number. If it's less than the halfway mark, we go to the lower number. Okay, find objects like the one shown. Use a ruler to measure their lengths. So right here, I have, oof, I have a marker. And the marker in inches is about five inches. And my um, crayon is about three inches. And again, they may be different lengths at your house, but those are just the objects that I'm measuring. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the back here. Set C. The measure of the height of a window takes more feet than yards because feet are smaller units. So it's about three feet, one, two, three feet, or three feet is equal to one yard. Okay. Measure the object in inches and feet. Circle the unit you will need more of. So my desk is about three feet, which is three feet is the same as one yard. So we will need more feet because you see you have the larger number. We have more feet, the bigger number, okay? You can measure the length of an object to the nearest centimeter. The paper clip is less than halfway between three and four. So here's our paper clip here. It's a little bit over three, but it's still lower than the halfway mark. So we're gonna use the lesser number. The paper clip is about three centimeters, okay? Find objects like the ones shown and use a ruler to measure their lengths. We're doing it in centimeters this time. Here's my stapler. It's about 16 centimeters. At your house, it might be a little different. And I'm just gonna go ahead and measure this one. Here it is about seven centimeters is how long this crayon is. Okay, let's go ahead and go on to our next page of reteaching. Has a little teddy bear, ping pong paddle, and a pen and a belt on it. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. All right, there are 100 centimeters in a meter. This is about one centimeter, and a meter is about as tall as one, two, three, four steps. It's about how tall a meter is. I like the meter is about halfway up the door, about from the bottom of the door to the door handles, about a meter. Okay, circle the picture of the object that is about each length or height. So one centimeter, we're looking at things that are about this big. So things that are one centimeter wide is a pencil but a teddy bear is gonna be more than one centimeter and the top of a ping pong paddle is gonna be more than one centimeter. And then things that are about one meter, so about as tall as four steps or about as tall from the floor to a handle on a doorknob. And that would be about a belt, okay? It would be about a meter. Okay, set F. The measure of the height of this cart takes fewer meters than centimeters. So it's about one meter or 93 centimeters. So that's gonna be fewer meters because the number's smaller. It's a bigger unit, so we need less of them. Okay, so measure the object in centimeters and meters. Circle the unit you needed fewer of. So the door is about two meters, which was about 200 centimeters. 
So we need fewer meters. What's the smaller number or fewer number? It's two, so we needed fewer meters. So again, you can take the time and go around and measure these items around your house if you would like to. Okay, let's take a look at this one. It says, which path is longer? How much longer? So let's take a look. The purple path is six centimeters. The green path is five centimeters. So we wanna see how much longer, six centimeters here, minus five centimeters here is equal to one centimeter. So it's about one centimeter longer. Okay, we're gonna use a centimeter ruler and we're gonna measure these. The red path, let's see how many centimeters this is across here. This is about three. And then let's measure from here to here is six. So I know the red path, three plus six is nine. Let's take a look at the blue path. That's about two, and this here is about five, so two plus five is seven. So which path is longer? Well, the red path is longer. Now it says, how much longer is it? Well, I know that nine minus seven equals something. Nine minus seven equals two, so it's about two centimeters longer, okay? So here's our last question, thinking habits, attend to precision. Which unit of measure will I use is my work precise? Measure the length of the bottom of this page in feet and inches. So I'm gonna take my ruler. It is about one foot. And in inches, it is about, let's see, 10 inches. It's about 10 inches. So which measure in item 14 is more precise? One foot or 10? Well, it's, it's not even a foot. So we know the inches is gonna be more precise. And we can say 10 inches is more precise because it is the exact measurement. So it's the exact measurement. All right, and again, pause the video as needed.